Hello there, Code Monkeys and fellow Vedsies. Today we will be reading the third and final book that I wrote for the Young Authors Conference entitled The Case of the Stolen Pokemon Cards. A couple things I like about this cover. Uh, the first one is that I have made all these letters look like Pokeballs. The second thing that I really like is that I have actually written something on the spine this time. It's kind of hard to see from your perspective, but it's just the title of the book. And the third thing is that I've actually written a back blurb for this one. Matt's Pokemon cards have been stolen. I was a big fan of the name Matt as a kid, I guess. Will Mike find the crook? Read this book to find out. Here's our title page. I've actually included page numbers in this one. And I've done it poorly because title pages aren't supposed to have page numbers. Nor is the dedication page. Dedicated to Josh Zavatsky because he's really nice to me. And when I say he was really nice to me, you have to understand what I meant by that. See, as a kid, I was extremely unpopular to the point that I only had one person outside of my mom's daycare that would actually talk to me at school. His name was Josh Zavatsky. And he certainly wasn't really nice to me. I mean, he wasn't a jerk to me or anything like that, but it was just the fact that he actually talked to me. That meant a lot to me when I was a kid, I guess. There's actually a table of contents in this one. There are chapters in this book. Chapter one is the quiet night at Mike's house. Chapter two is the stolen cards. Chapter three is the investigation. Chapter four, crook found. Chapter five, a big laugh. I am dreading chapter five because I know for a... Will you stop texting me? Yeah, I am dreading chapter five because I know for a fact that I was not good at writing humor when I was a kid. So here we go, beginning on page four. Chapter one, the quiet night at Mike's house. No illustrations on this particular page. It was a quiet night at Mike's house. <laughs> That's great. It was a quiet night at Mike's house. That's me! <laughs> What a great way of introducing a narrator. Most of the kids were downstairs watching TV. Me, I was at my desk in my bedroom. <laughs> you know, Mike, if you weren't in the mood to hang out with your friends, then why did you invite them over to your house? I suddenly heard my friend Matt scream. I raced to the stairs and slid down the railing. See, I really sucked at sliding down railings when I was a kid. So demonstrating Mike sliding down the railing is, I guess, my way of showing that he's awesome. I ran into the kitchen and threw to the living room. I asked What's going on? Page 5 is nothing but a poorly drawn image of a Pikachu Pokemon card. Chapter 2, the stolen cards. That was a really short chapter. Oh, oh, this is, this is, uh, wow. This is gonna be painful to read out loud, but I I'm gonna have to do it. Jesse and Jesse, the twins, said at the same time, someone stole Matt's Pokemon cards. See, one of them is a boy, and one of them is a girl. I guess I was drawing inspiration from Phil and Lil there? But yeah, Jesse and Jesse there. That just, ugh, that hurts, man. I suddenly thought to myself, a case! <laughs> I love how Mike's first reaction upon hearing theft is not, like, concerned for his friend or anything like that. It's just like, oh boy, I get to do something now! I ran to my room and wrote down, and here I have drawn a Blue's Clues-esque handy-dandy notebook. The case of the stolen Pokemon cards. Victim, Matt Kraz. C-R-A-Z, Matt Kraz. I don't know who has a last name like that, but okay. On another sheet, Suspects. Jesse and Jesse M. Why are they listed together? Could it not have just been one of them? Bob A. Bill B. Sally K. And Sue N. <laughs> okay. I love, I love this illustration right here. So what we've got is an investigative illustration here. There are footprints with the word Pokemon in them. There are damage counters. There is a coin. And there is a freakishly bloodshot floating eyeball with a floating hand looking at all these things through a magnifying glass. Those were all the kids that were there. I raced back downstairs and handed Matt an index card that said, Detective Mike did... <laughs> I'm sorry. Detective Mike Diddley, <laughs> private eye. <laughs> 50 cents a day detective work. Discount for valuable things. So does that mean he charges less to find things that are worth more? Cause that does not seem like a sound business strategy to me. Matt said, could you find the mysterious bad dude that swiped my Pokemon cards? What I love about that sentence is that the phrase mysterious bad dude is capitalized. As if it were someone's name. I replied, sure, and don't forget the discount. It could be anyone here. This book is ridiculous. Another poorly drawn Pokemon card, this time a Rattata. Anyone? Asked Sally. Anyone, I said. <laughs> This is preposterous. Everyone looked at each other nervously. I watched their heads move side to side. <laughs> it's, it's, it's 
great description. I said to Matt, I'll be in touch. The next morning, I got to work on my cane. <laughs> Why are you letting the trail go cold, dude? Chapter 3, The Investigation. I first questioned Bob, then Bill, then Sally, then Sue. Finally, Jesse and Jesse. <laughs> I narrowed it down to three suspects. Those suspects were Bill, Sally, and Sue. In about three weeks, I had concluded, Bill! <laughs> No need to show us any of that. No need to go through the investigation in any way. Just... It's Bill! How? You know, I'm actually curious. Well, Jesse, Jesse, and Bob were playing on the other side of the room. Sally and Sue were watching TV. Matt was in the bathroom. Why would you include Matt? Like, he's the one whose cards were stolen. I guess maybe he could have stolen his own cards. That would have been an interesting twist for an eight-year-old. And Matt wasn't even on the investigation list. I mean, like, what? I, I don't... What? Bill was all alone in a corner looking at Matt's Pokemon cards. He had the best opportunity. <laughs> Yes, because it's plausible that he's guilty, he must be guilty! Chapter 4, Crook Found? I just still can't get over how fast I blitzed past the actual investigative part of the mystery story. I called everyone to Bill's house. He looked pretty nervous. Then I lifted up his mattress, the first place you looked, I guess, and to everyone's surprise, except Bill's and mine, sat a binder that read, Matt's Pokemon Cards! Dun dun dun! That was a clever way to pass inspection, Bill. I said, what inspection? When did this inspection happen? Please, like, you gotta, you gotta show me this, eight-year-old me. Matt said, I can't believe it, my best friend, why? Chapter five, a big laugh. This is the part that I'm dreading. Bill said, I'm sorry, can you ever forgive me? I interrupted. I interrupted, really? This is like, this is so important to me. Like, what I have to throw in is so much more important than the two best friends reconciling over the stolen Pokemon cards. No, me. Me the narrator. Me important. You owe me ten dollars, man. Uh, I have another case for you, Mike. Where am I gonna get ten bucks, Matt asked. Everyone laughed. Oh my god, that hurts. The end. Oh my god, you know, both times, that I've read another book in this sort of ongoing project. I've worried that it's not gonna be as funny as the previous book, but somehow I managed to keep topping myself. Just completely blitz past all of the investigative process. It was like one paragraph. The entire second act of this book is just Oh well, on to the meet the author page, I suppose. Oh, this one's actually written in cursive. I guess I thought I should use it for something, right? Seriously, how many of you have ever used those cursive lessons for anything other than signing your own name? Yeah, all none of you? Okay. Name, Jesse Coder, age 10. I was 10 when I wrote this. I thought I would have been 8 because I was 7 when I wrote the last one, if I remember right. Oh, maybe they skipped a couple years. I'm an expert at drawing. <laughs> yes. Expert at drawing. <laughs> I got better. My favorite book is the Captain Underpants series. I was a big fan of those. I should actually reread them, see if they still hold up. My best school subject is art because I'm good at drawing. I really wanted to drive that home. What I like to do most is watch TV. I guess it's better than eating McDonald's. When I grow up, I will be a magician. <laughs> okay, Ooh. Other books by this author, The Dream, The Hiccupy Jungle, and Pokemon. Was there a book I wrote just called Pokemon? I can only assume it's referring to this book. And there you have it, the case of the stolen Pokemon cards. And that is the last of the Young Authors Conference books. Um, I'll see if I can find anything else that I wrote when I was a kid. Uh, I doubt I'll be able to, but uh, if I can, I'll let you guys know. So until next time, Code Monkeys and Fellow Bedsies, I will see you later.